In 2020, cloud storage is everything. From photos and videos to your music library, everything is saved on remote servers far away from wherever you are and accessed just by logging onto the web. Both Dropbox and Google Drive make it easy to store whatever you need kept in the cloud, but if you're trying to choose between them, it can be tough. Let's take a look at some of the key differences between the two to find out which you should use. Let's get the biggest difference out of the way first. If you use Android or Chrome OS, going with Google Drive is your best option. Drive is built natively into both of these platforms. It manages your Android data backups and is built right into the file browser in Chrome OS. Dropbox works on both of these operating systems through apps and web clients, but you're best off just sticking to Google's own offering. If you aren't an Android or Chrome OS user, your choice is a little more complicated. If you're purely after what can give you the most free storage, once again, Google Drive is your best choice. Google offers users 15 gigabytes for free, more than seven times what Dropbox offers with their two gigabyte free tier. It's also easier to upgrade your storage with Drive. For just $2 per month, Google offers 100 gigabytes, and for $3 per month, your storage doubles to 200 gigabytes. Dropbox jumps from two gigabytes to two terabytes for $9.99 per month, which actually matches Google's own two terabyte plan. It is worth noting, however, that Google offers annual payments for all of their plans, allowing you to save around 16% over paying annually. If you're looking for the maximum amount of storage possible, once again, Drive comes out on top with a 30 terabyte plan, far above Dropbox's own three terabyte plan. Dropbox does have certain advantages, most notably syncing. Syncing in Dropbox is much faster since it utilizes block syncing over repeatedly downloading and uploading documents to save time. It's actually a major improvement over how Drive handles syncing and could potentially help boost your workflow, but generally speaking, you probably won't notice the difference in real world use. And of course, this is all without mentioning Drive's ability to sync with Google Docs, Sheets, and Slides, along with apps like YouTube and Gmail. Dropbox does offer their own document service, Paper, to collaborate with anyone around the world in real time, but it doesn't hold a candle to Google's own Docs suite. Dropbox is far from a bad cloud service, and for anyone looking to avoid Google services altogether, it's easily your best choice. But if you're trying to decide between Google Drive and Dropbox, the answer is simple. Most people should make the switch to Drive. If you like this guide, make sure you subscribe for all sorts of videos covering cloud storage and other technology. And don't forget to check out one of these videos we think you might enjoy.